What's up everybody? I'm sure you know I'm a degenerate, but I also still like to collect cute things, so today we're just gonna go over my little plushie haul. First up, we have a Kaguya-sama Love is War plushie. This is Ai Hayasaka. Personally, I think she's best girl. But I do think it's funny that this is labeled ungraded. I got this off of Big Bad Toy Store, and a lot of their figures have the option of getting the packaging graded. But since this is a plushie, I don't think I need the plastic bag to be in mint condition. Anyways, if you look on this little tag here, you can see this plushie is made by Taito. They usually make a lot of prize figures and crane game stuff. Though, they should have put the tag on her clothes instead of puncturing her hand. Oh, I was really hoping for like a picture or something. Because Hayasaka has that side ponytail, her left side is heavier, so she keeps falling. I do think she's incredibly adorable, though her hair is a little bit on the thin side, so those might get damaged or torn up, especially if you have pets. But I really like that they did the lines for the eyes. Personally, I like my plushies to look a little more silly. Like, a lot of the other Taito plushies do the anime eyes. But Hayasaka also has a nice little ribbon on her back, as well as her hair tie. It's made of like a more silky texture. Overall, very adorable. But moving on, we have a Slowpoke plushie. I really gotta stop buying Pokemon stuff. But I got this from PlayAsia, which, you know, it's always nice that they include these little stickers. Uh, the logo, maybe not so much. But the chibi characters are cute. Just look at this little gremlin eating chips and playing Switch. Once again, I should really check the dimensions of things before I buy them. Definitely a lot smaller than I thought. He's a little squash, so we'll give him a little face and body massage like he's Wagyu beef to puff him up. I don't know, this really reminds me of that baby seal you see, like learning how to swim. Honestly, I don't even know what animal Slowpoke is supposed to be. Uh, I guess one thing's for sure, he is a pocket monster. Now this plushie is made by Nsky. I've mentioned them before, they made that little Kirby cannonball figure. But I don't know why I keep checking the tag, I just keep hoping there's gonna be some fun trivia or image. I really wanted this plushie to go with my sleeping Kirby. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate he's so small compared to him, even though they were kind of similar prices. But I love the way sleeping plushies look when they're just lounging around on a bed or sofa. Now, I'm really excited for this next one. This is Bunger from Bug Snacks, a game I just really enjoyed. In the game, you have to go around catching bugs that are made out of all kinds of food. So, Bunger is a burger with uh, some curly fry legs and tusk. Then he's got his big juicy burger buns. And I love the way they did the tag for this. Uh, it's very charming, a little ketchup bottle there. But if you're wondering, I got this from Fangamer. But let's take a moment to examine and dissect how this Krabby Patty is made, see if we can figure out the secret formula. But we got a nice hamburger patty with a little cheese slice, a little hidden tomato there, and then of course a little lettuce. But let's take a look at the other side, and you can see the tomato is only on the left side, but I'm not seeing any pickles. I do really love his little burger paper wrap. One feature that all the bugs on the island share is that they all have googly eyes, but no matter how much I try, it looks like these ones don't move. I know Fangamer also has a Strabby plush, which is a strawberry. Uh, but I really like Bunger. Um, in the game, they always say their own name, like their Pokemon, so he goes, Bunger Bunger, Bunger Bunger, Bunger! <laughs> Anyways, uh, as you can see, he can stand on his curly fry legs, but he falls over pretty easily. Uh, this next one I just got off Amazon. This is one of the demon bears from Sleepy Princess in a demon castle. For me, these guys were the star of the show. For the most part, this feels like a really high quality plushie. The only cheap thing are these papery wings. Between you and me, this is an unlicensed plushie. Uh, I couldn't find an official one. But for being unofficial, this is honestly one of the softest plushies I own. Uh, but I do wish he was sleeping instead of being awake. And last, and certainly least, is this dog plushie. This was a gift from a family member. Um, the box design is kind of cute. A little strawberry ice cream cone there. Uh, there's a little narwhal as well. But I would have rather had plushies of those than uh, just a regular dog. But apparently his name is Clover. On the side of the box it basically says, Take Clover with you wherever you go and tag him on social media. Like seriously, you're just trying to get some free advertising. People will naturally post it on social if they like your product. 
It's made by a company called Too Faced, but I don't really get it because it's spelled T-O-O. But let's take a look at them. It is kind of cute that they had one ear kind of folded over, though this massive heart is kind of blocking his mouth. But there's the absurd company name on the heart and the tag, though he does have a spot on his butt. But the deal breaker for this one is that he just doesn't stand up at all. Anyways, let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, I'm gonna go fling these around the room now, but as always, thanks for watching, subscribing would be awesome, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye.